I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some test problems from applications of polynomial functions. Here is one of the most popular questions from the test papers. A tent has the shape of triangular prism. The volume of the tent is x cubed plus 7x squared plus 11x plus 5 cubic units. Triangular face of the tent is 2x times 2x plus 2 units wide and x plus 1 units high. How long is the tent? Well, as you know, the volume for triangular prism will be uh, area of the base into height. Now, since the triangle is, is considered to be the base, area of triangle is half base times height. And then the length will give us the volume. Right? So that is how you get the expression for volume. Since we need to find the length, we know base and height and the volume. We can divide volume by half base into height to get length. So the length is equals to volume divided by half base times height. So that is the strategy for us. Now base is given to us. Base of the tent is so many wide. Two. So we say base is equals to 2x plus 2. And the height for us is x plus 1. So, half times base into height will be, that is the area, right? So, we can say area equals to half times, which is base 2x plus 2 times x plus 1, right? So, if you simplify, this 2 will cancel into these 2s. We can factor them out. And basically, we have x plus 1 whole square. So, we have this as x plus 1 whole square, correct? So, let me rewrite this. If you factor 2 out, so you get x plus 1 times x plus 1. And you can expand and write this as x squared plus 2x plus x, right? So that is what you get area of the triangular prism. Now, to find the length, we know the volume. So we can perform long division at this stage and get the length. So what we have here is... Uh, let's do the long division now. So we are given that the volume is x cubed plus 7x squared plus 11x plus 5. And that should be divided by the area which is x squared plus 2x plus 1. 1 square, right? Plus 1. Now, if I divide it, what do I get? I get x times x cubed plus 2x squared plus x. And when you take away, from here you get 5x squared plus 10x plus 5. Now, we can multiply by plus 5. So, you get 5x squared plus 10x plus 5. Remainder is 0. So that means when you divide the volume by the area, you get the length, which is x plus 5, correct? And therefore, we can say our answer is length L equals to x plus 5 units, right? So that is how the question should be done. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.